window. Out my window. Hello, traders. Gary Wagner with WFGForex.com, your daily market update for Forex Gold. It is July 1st, and this is the Daily Report. Forex Gold is currently trading under tremendous pressure today at 12.07. We have had a sell-off unlike any we have seen since February. We are extremely fortunate in that the limit order that we placed yesterday, of course, was an end-of-the-day order. However, there is no doubt that I personally had a misread on the market. I'm glad that we didn't enter the market, but I am not so happy that I didn't see the signs. The signs have become quite apparent to me, and my belief at this point long term has not changed I am still looking at a thirteen hundred dollar target six to eight months as I talked about yesterday however I think prior to that we are going to move into a corrective phase and for that we're simply going to need to move to our Elliott wave to take a look at what I'm thinking as I said I think that many traders absolutely had a misread on the market however with this solid strong correction solidly entrenched we can absolutely at this point look at a a wave being formed on our Elliott wave if we go back and we take a look at the big picture this is that first record top that we hit at 1221 back a year ago that put us into a corrective phase of course the top of the market is always going to be wave five in any bull market so you have your corrective waves A, B, and C, and then you go into a strong impulse cycle, which consists of five waves. One, three, and five are our impulse waves, and two and four are our corrective waves. So that you get wave one, two, three, four, five. That should hit the top of the market. 1265 at this point was and is the top of the market that then takes us into our corrective phase our corrective phase is going to repeat in the same way in a bull market in which we will see if it follows Elliott wave a series of corrective waves a and C and a impulse wave within that corrective phase which will take us again to another interim low before we see that cycle repeat again and move into our impulse one two three four and five so where are we looking for the market to carry over this next interim period typically a corrective phase is a shorter phase in terms of time cycle and time duration realize we were looking from December to February so it's typically approximately a two to three month cycle but where can we look at that market to go to for that what we need to do is absolutely look at our Fibonacci retracement to get a clear indication now when looking at Fibonacci for a correction after our impulse phase I'm going to be looking at two series of Fibonacci the first one that I want to look at is the long-term Fibonacci which is based on this absolute low at the beginning of wave one to the top of wave five when I do that as you can see it places our first level at 1212 that's 23 percent at 1212 we've clearly broken through that but not on a closing basis so we want to watch that carefully the next level from there which is going to be a typical 38 percent retracement of this overall move would take us to 1180 and that would take us to our 38 percentile on a Fibonacci retracement level we also then want to look at not only the longer term but just our Fibonacci sequence from wave 5 now traders what we are looking at is a different Fibonacci sequence and again this is drawn from the beginning of wave 5 to the top of wave 5 and in Fibonacci harmonics what we are looking for are areas where these Fibonacci numbers happen to kind of cluster together 
if you recall, our first set of Fibonacci numbers brought our initial 23% retracement at 1212. When we do our Fibonacci from just this fifth wave, you notice that the 50% level on the fifth wave is 1214. It's only $2 apart. That then becomes, in terms of Fibonacci harmonics, a very critical level. So the area of 1212, 1214 is absolutely, in terms of Fibonacci harmonics, meaning looking for that cluster, an extremely important range. It does appear, not on a closing basis, but it does appear as though it has, in fact, broken through that point. The next question is going to be, on a closing basis, if it continues to trade below that 12, 12, 12, 14, this 1202, meaning $1,200 per ounce, becomes both psychologically as well as technically extremely, extremely critical. Because if it cannot hold this particular area, the next real area of support is going to be between 1180, which is our Fibonacci retracement at a 38% retracement level on our long-term Fibonacci and 12 excuse me and 1186 or 1187 which is a 78% in other words the only other cluster although this is a little bit um, further in terms of distance it is about six dollars apart and not clustered like we have in here that is where we have some sort of harmonics in terms of Fibonacci so with this long weekend in incoming we really have to determine where this market wants to settle down now what is my long-term view of the market I am still bullish on the market I do believe that all markets do travel through a phase of impulse as well as corrective I personally at this point am convinced that with this move the market has illustrated that we are in a corrective phase there's no doubt about that traders so where could the market travel if we have truly entered a corrective phase so what I've done is I have kind of moved my timeline over so we can do a little bit of forward forecasting I've got our third wave here last corrective wave in the impulse four and then five the beginning of our A wave which is right in here if the market does find support tentatively 1203 might be a good area because it matches up on a Fibonacci sequence if not this particular A wave will take us down to 1187 if that's the case we're going to have a different series or different set of moves because for a true impulse excuse me corrective wave to be in place we will need to see a series where we get lower lows on each of these waves and lower highs on each of these waves so I'll draw that in secondary but for this scenario we see a tentative bottom at 1203 we get our impulse wave in the corrective phase B taking us back to about 1239 and our final corrective wave taking us to the bottom of the market in a true bullish market that's what's going to happen somewhere around 1187 at 1187 we will then begin to cycle back into our impulse phase and the impulse phase in my belief will carry us to new highs breaking the 1265 and moving to 1300 however well before we get there we've got to see how this corrective phase pans out but I can tell you this with the market selling off like it has today there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that we have now entered a corrective phase now the second possibility in terms of how this corrective phase could pan out is if it does not hold this 1203 level right in here the next the logical level for us to look at would be to break below 1200 and somewhere around that 11 
187 area, 1187, which is uh, the 78% level, would be the end of that first A cycle, and that would be a 78% retracement of the move that we saw in wave five. That would take us up to either this 50% level or to, meaning it would move back to 1214 or 1225 and then have that final cycle down that C wave before we go back into our impulse cycle. Now, traders, I can talk about all of the fundamental news and, and all of the things that the market is talking about in terms of why this correction took place. My personal belief is that in any bull market, these corrections are eminent. For those of us who follow Elliott Wave, markets don't go straight up or straight down. I saw an extreme resilience in the market, and that absolutely was my misread here, because the market was unable to sell off. Fundamentally, the long-term news that we have been looking at hasn't really changed. And so I do believe that what we're witnessing right now is that corrective phase which, as I said, will take us to one of the two scenarios that we just pointed out and then move back into a impulse cycle if we're truly in a bull run. When we look historically at the market, and to do that, I've really kind of shrunk the chart down so we can look at that in terms of the big picture, this market has never moved straight up or straight down. If we look back, this is that fifth wave for the final drive that we saw when we hit our first record top in here. This was wave five, our corrective waves A, B, and C, our impulse one, two, three, four, five. And now, again, as I said, we'll go into this A, B, and C. We can still be firmly entrenched in a bull market, but we are going to run through these series of cycles of both impulse as well as corrective phases. This has been Gary Wagner with WFGForex.com, your daily market update for Forex Gold, wishing you, as always, good trading. Bye-bye.